Hello, 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 y'all. Welcome back to Dark Side Presents Women Making History Today. I'm your friendly neighborhood Z-Man, and let's get started. When today's honoree and I met in high school, neither of us ever imagined that our lives would cross again in the ways that they have. Actress Diana Reed Foster was born Diana Kathleen Reed on May 28, 1970 in Chicago. She attended Limbloom Technical High School where she first discovered her love of music. She sang with the chorus and competed in city and state choral and solo competitions. She never thought of herself as an actor in her early years, but in 1995 she performed in her first professional stage play. In 2005 she did her first feature film, Roll Bounce, directed by Malcolm Lee. And in 2008, she received an Emmy Award for her narration of Fresh from Julianne's Garden, A Legacy in Bronze. In the years that followed, she focused mainly on the stage while holding down a full-time job as a property manager. But in 2013, she left the security of corporate America and took a leap of faith to become a full-time actress. In that same year, she married Earl Foster, who has been her biggest supporter in her major career move. She's appeared in several stage, TV, and film projects, but most notably, she has a recurring role on NBC's Chicago Fire. In 2017, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress by the Joseph Jefferson Awards for her role in the stage production of Even Longer and Farther Away. Also in 2017, she worked with Oscar-nominated director Steve McQueen in the film Widows, and she is set to appear in Oscar-nominated director Richard Linklater's Last Flag Flying alongside Lawrence Fishburne as his wife. Diana's faith in Christ is first and foremost in her life. She lives by the credo of hashtag live on purpose and seeks to fulfill God's will and purpose for her life. Now, before Diana turned into a mega super duper star, our lives crossed again when she appeared in The Recipe, one of a collection of four short films I was involved in that took place in the late 60s called The Americana Noir Vignettes. Here is a short clip from The Recipe. Niece, you awake? Yeah. Well, I, I just want you to know that as soon as I find a job, I'll, I'll find an apartment and you'll get your room all back to yourself again. <laughs> Moving up here from Mississippi is kind of scary. Yeah, I should have made the move years ago like your mama. Maybe I'd have found a good man like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing being here with family. I'm not alone, you know. Whew. Good night, y'all. <laughs> Diana is on her way to big things on the big screen. So our next ingredient in our Women's History Month recipe is someone I met on the set of the Americana Noir vignettes. She brought a really big pig to the roast. We'll meet her in the next episode of Dark Side Presents Women Making History Today. This is your friendly neighborhood Z-Man saying ciao for now.